Hey guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct here and welcome back to another edition of What's in the Box. Today we have HKS Type 0 35th Anniversary Turbo Timer. Now, I've got the box right here and I want to show it to you. Reason being is it has a really nice pearlescent white to it. It's kind of hard to see, uh, you kind of have to reflect it in the light a little bit. But it's just really kind of a cool box. Again, this is their 35th anniversary. Uh, they kind of wanted to go all out on the box. Let's just go ahead and open it up. Alright, so I'm going to open it up from the back here. And we're just going to pull everything out. Alright, so this is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. Everything's nice, compact, really well packed. Alright, let's go ahead and break into this. First, I want to show you guys the turbo timer itself. All right, so here it is, and this is what they call a remote display. Uh, reason for that is the uh, brain or the control box to this uh, isn't attached, so this is just a remote display. It's really thin, which gives you a lot of mounting options, and it's really clean. Uh, it has an LCD backlight, and it comes up in red, which is kind of cool. And then you have this long cable, which is going to go to the uh, box itself. I'm going to show you that to you real quick. So here's the box. This you're going to mount somewhere uh, where nobody can see it. Generally up underneath the dash and the glove box, somewhere like that. Um, no buttons on it, really nothing to it. You just have a plug in. And then of course we've got our wires. Um, nice thing about this being that it is a remote display is you don't actually see this box. It's, again, it's hidden away somewhere. You don't have to look at it. The only thing you'll see, the only thing you'll mess with is the remote display itself. Again, very clean looking, uh, provides for really nice install. All right, now I want to show you guys some of the hardware it comes with. So this little bag of hardware. Of course, we've got our, looks like our parking brake wire right there. We have some zip ties, some double-sided sticky tape, and some vampire taps. Um, I do recommend soldering if you're going to have a, this in your car permanently, but the vampire taps work really well. Uh, you just want to make sure that you uh, get them nice and secure on there. All right, and of course, it comes with instructions. HKS has uh, done a really good job. They have Japanese instructions, which isn't going to do us a whole lot of good, but they also have instructions in English, which is really nice. Um, these aren't going to be vehicle specific, but they will hook into the HKS uh, turbo timer harness, which is going to be vehicle specific, specific, excuse me, and is essentially going to make this a plug and play. You're just going to plug the harness into that right there. Uh, the only things you have to hook up are going to be your ground wire, and if you want to run um, the wire to your e-brake, that will, you'll have to hook that up as well, of course. Um, some things about this particular timer, right here, um, it has a couple different modes on it. You have a manual mode, which you can set from anywhere from zero seconds to like 10 minutes. Uh, they have two memory modes. One is a 30 second quick uh, memory mode and the other one is a one minute. Uh, you can just hit those to add on time. Now it will read your battery voltage. It will give you the peak value of that as well. And then of course you also have the uh, feature for the parking brake shut off. That, and what that is, I was talking about that earlier where you have to hook that up. Uh, you basically run a wire to your parking brake and if somebody gets in your car while the car is running, while the car is counting down or um, still running while you're out of it, someone gets in, puts a parking brake down, the car shuts off automatically. It's a nice safety feature. That way when your car is running and you're away from it, nobody can just get in, jump in, and take off. So the point of the turbo timer is just to allow the car to cool off after a hot session. Um, a lot of times people will, especially with turbocharged cars, they'll get out, they'll uh, just shut it right down. What can happen is oil can boil inside that turbo and it can start clogging the, uh, the lines of the turbo and eventually lead to turbo failure. It's never a bad idea just to let your car have a cool down period. These turbo timers are great for that, uh, for that reason. Then the fact that it looks so clean, it's such an easy installation, makes for a really good product. Well, hey, thanks a lot, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Please remember to check back later for more editions of What's in the Box. RallySportDirect.com